pilonidal sinus in a uh, uh, normal language it can be called as a jeep rider disease and it used to happen in those uh, patients or those people uh, who had a very thick hair around the lower back and uh, who would have a long sitting hours so uh, the pilonidal sinus uh, develops because the hard hair they go inside the skin they get broken up and these loose particles of hair they lead to uh, formation of pus inside the skin so now the pus when it enlarges in size it opens up through multiple opening sinuses so while uh, the patients uh, they are diagnosed with having uh, this condition the medicines are not going to work because this pus uh, the cavity of the pus which is inside the skin needs to be cleaned up so it would always require a surgical technique There are many surgical options for uh, pilonidal sinus uh, in the older era uh, or the conventional form of the surgery would include the uh, de-roofing of the pilonidal sinus cavity wherein the skin which is over the cavity is totally taken out it is excised and the wound is left to heal up on its own so this uh, treatment would require a long uh, bed rest and long dressings uh, but uh, there are other techniques also available uh, which is the plastic surgery flap procedures even these are very cumbersome and uh, they take very long uh, healing time uh, the latest technique uh, for this uh, disease condition is the laser which is a minimal invasive uh, technique and uh, this hardly gives you any big wound the patient can walk away the same day and there are no painful dressings involved so laser is a technique which is minimal invasive and it gives you very less of the cuts and wounds so uh, there is no uh, need for a complete bed rest for a long period of time there is no work restriction the patient can go away walking from the hospital so definitely it has advantage